recording. See, I have to say that because I hit the record button on OBS so that I can upload this. Thank you guys. Um, I guess YouTube, if you haven't seen the music video that I did of Astral Alley with my friends, I just made um, Twitch watch it and you should watch it. It's the thing I uploaded before this because I'm, this is me from the past talking to you in the future, telling you what I did earlier today in the past, which is yesterday in the future, which is tomorrow when this video goes live. Anyway, oh yes, I did hear about the new Night in the Woods content coming out in December. So I actually have a funny story, <laughs> not related directly to Night in the Woods, but um, so you guys know that I missed last week's stream <laughs> because I was in rural Pennsylvania, probably like an hour away from where Night in the Woods takes place of interviewing for a job, which I am taking. So... I will be on Eastern Standard Time uh, starting like the last week of November, first week of December. My streams will both be moving to be an hour earlier. Um, so <laughs> I it's funny because um, while I was there, I met up with um, Danny, who's the trombone player in that video, um, because it turns out he lives near there. But I didn't know that... Um, I didn't know that he lived there or that any of this was going to happen until we'd already started planning the Night in the Woods cover and then I was like, what? I don't know! Well, it'll be the same time for me, but I mean, like, you guys are all used to, like, the, the time slot in whatever uh, time period is the wrong word, time zone, that you live in right now. Just back up to be an hour earlier is what my streams will be starting and ending. So yeah. You know, guys, if I move to Pennsylvania and I wind up stealing pretzels to feed miracle rats, you will be the first to know, I promise. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so I made this May shirt and I'm really excited about it, so we're wearing it today. Thank you, Chrono. Happy Halloween. I don't know if any of you guys are wearing Halloween costumes, but if you do, let me know what they are. Uh, well, like, propagable, but there's going to be a daylight savings time and me moving to a different time zone. It's a complicated combination that is going to result in. Oh, that's right. I was in the Snack Falcon. Because... Oh, time Traveler. Ah... Uh, you don't actually want me to be a time traveler because I would just get really confused and make a big mess. And like, in order to be a successful time traveler, you're supposed to like blend in wherever you go. And I don't do that. I'm like, hey, what's the blah? And did you, hey, can you? Mm. I wasn't supposed to talk. So it's not so good. Oh man, Halloween is like my favorite holiday. I don't know what that is, parking lot possum, but that sounds kind of exciting. Yes, I'm going to be starting at band practice. Oh, that reminds me, I don't have my chat on the other screen. Hold on, guys. I promise one of these days I'm going to not have, or I am going to have my stuff together. Pretend that I said the, uh, the appropriate word that is not appropriate. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, but those aren't very similar, Decapeptal. At least in my understanding of it. Where did my... There's my chat. Okay, cool. Got it. We're good. All right. So last time, May was doing super well. Things were... Things were okay. She made up with B. Kicking the stream off with two performances. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm so US-centric. Yeah, so we had the Harfest celebration. And like, it was gonna be great. We made up with B by being a witch. Witch made us. Witch made us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, mm. Anyway. No, we were gonna do band practice last time. Um, no, we, we, 
So, like, there was a witch who cursed the people of Possum Springs because they were mean to her, and there's probably something to do with gender roles, and that's, like, I could go on a long feminist rant about um, witches and, and female empowerment being threatening to a patriarchal society, which this game, I believe, actually kind of did that for me. I think May did that. <laughs> But, um, long story short, um, yeah, we made up with B by doing that. Oh, wait, was that before we had our fight with mom? No, we had our fight with mom first, and then we made up with B. And then, anyway, long story short, we found out that the witch cursed the people of Possum Springs so that they, like, so this place is going to be very haunted. Um, and... I think May has some sort of direct connection to it. I assume she's actually descended from the witch, um, which people pointed out is maybe not possible uh, physically, uh, but maybe the witch had a kid or maybe the witch's family had a kid. Yes, that's right. There was a forest god which was in Lost Constellation. And I'm trying to remember the context of all of that. I should have watched this because it's been a couple of weeks. Um, but, yeah, I I had a lot on my mind. And this, like, this mess is continuing. Uh, so I actually did a video tour of an apartment um, in Pennsylvania that I might be moving to um, today because the internet is a magical, wonderful thing. But so, like, at some point later this month, streams will stop because I am going to be driving across the country. So, like, hey, if you're between Texas and Pennsylvania, or I guess New Jersey, um, and you want me to say hi and have lunch with you on the way? Like, let me know, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm going to be doing that. And then Thanksgiving. And then moving in and hopefully getting internet. Um, but, oh my god. So, plus this mess is my life right now, Spikey. Like, I feel like I need that tattooed on my face. <laughs> Except not really. I don't think I would do very well with face tattoos. Um... So yeah, sorry for that big long thing, but like at the moment, it's kind of hard for me to separate. No, Doug, I'm gonna come see you later though. Well, okay, but Chris, we can have lunch before I leave. That would be easier. Oh, man. So I'm trying to, like, flip the switch in my brain from real-world stuff to game stuff. So... Greg, my friend. Hi. Hi, Greg. Greg! I want to make it really clear because people um, seem to feel that... I might not like Greg enough um, because I'm going like all in on B on my first playthrough. Um, so I really want to stress that like one of my best friends in high school basically was Greg. Um, but also one of my best friends in high school had some things in common with B. Um, so I am very drawn to both of those types of people because I am a fixer, um, which is a thing that I've had to learn to get better about as I get older, because it turns out that's a great way to have a codependent friendship with people, which you, by the way, just don't, don't do codependency, guys. It is bad. Take it from me. Uh, it's not good for anybody. You think you're helping the other person, but you're just hurting yourselves. Um, so anyway, so I'm drawn to people who are a little bit broken. Um, and there are different kinds of broken. So I know that Greg is not just the happy, cheerful fellow that he seems. Finding out that he's bipolar actually makes a lot of sense. Um, and I relate to that. So I would like to know his story. And since there's a second, um, there's a second version of the game coming out with new content. So I'm going to probably play Greg then and we'll get a second playthrough where hopefully I'll be a teensy bit more focused on the game and less on 
the fact that for the first time in my life, I am moving to a state outside of Texas, and I'm not just moving to a state outside of Texas, I'm moving to a state that's a 24-hour drive away, and there's going to be snow. I don't know what to do with snow, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. Get new shoes. I know that. Uh, all right. Hi, Greg. My best friend's name is also Greg, but he's actually not quite like this, Greg. Some triangles, I think that's actually a really good point, that we try to be heroes in each other's lives. And I think it maybe has something to do with the kinds of heroes that we pattern ourselves after or that we look up to. Although I actually don't know whether any of my favorite characters that I most admired were the fixer types. Um, I don't know. I, I do know that when I was a kid, I wanted to be a manic pixie dream girl, which is a very bad idea. Don't do that. Um, but yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I know. It was a really long, weird night. Um, some kid got kidnapped by a ghost and then nobody registered a kid as missing. And that's not good. So I'm really curious whether oh I do have a scarf my aunt in Canada made me a scarf when I was going to spend a couple weeks in Maine for grad school so I have a scarf that is made from Canada for Maine so I think I can probably handle Pennsylvania I'm gonna be close enough to drive to Ontario I'm really excited about this <laughs> sorry I'm really really unfocused today all right so yeah bad things Band practice is not, well, okay, actually, never mind, I take that back. I, like, have lots of super serious heart-to-hearts at band practice. I'm really sad about the fact that my band is going to be long distance after this. But we're going to do it anyway. Oh, man. I assume that just saying hello is the, oh, crap, I forgot to talk to somebody option. We gotta head out to band practice. Is the I did everything and I talked to all the people, and now it's time to do the thing. Rhythm game! Yes, it was woven with the arcane essence of Canada. However, I already have Canadian blood, so I apologize all the time. Uh, so, I'm already halfway there. Oh man. Grumpy Crumpets, which, by the way, that is an extremely fun name to say. Yes. I would totally carry my flute like a baseball bat, um, but I wouldn't hit things with it because that's bad for flutes. All right, let's go to band practice, guys. Let's do it. You shouldn't capitalize the A. A is an article. You don't capitalize articles in titles unless they're the first word of the title. Anyway, there's your grammar lesson for the day. I've done a good job teaching you grammar. All right, band practice. Okay, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Am I part maple syrup? I don't know. I do know that my mom was like so disappointed in me when um, I was a kid because I didn't like maple syrup. I only liked the fake stuff, but I know the error of my ways now. Very nice chrono. All right. Oh. <laughs> Jonah's just unfazed by like literally everything. I mean, entertained, I suppose, is a good word for a ba bad band practice. Articles, conjunctions, prepositions. Oh, well, while we're talking about capitalization, you always capitalize a verb, even if it's a very short verb. So if you're writing in title case, you capitalize is or you capitalize are because they're verbs. Length doesn't have anything to do with their part of speech. Um. <laughs> anyway, you're welcome. Now you can do well on grammar. If you ever take like a grammar test and you're like, oh, I remember this thing Lauren told me, please tell me. I will feel so delighted. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, well, dog, talk to me. I will proofread you. Oh. What were you doing? Oh. That's actually a better reason than making bad decisions. <laughs> All right, Prophet Gable, we'll report back. The door at the top of the stairs, is that like... I mean, there's a little old lady who keeps locking people in her basement. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Good luck with the graveyard shift to Suna Vox. It seems like the graveyard shift on Halloween should be like something particularly special. I hope you have candy. Candy is good. Yeah, T, I do the same thing. I, I definitely make typos, but. Oh, God. Greg, no. Greg, no, don't do that. Hmm, okay, well, it's. Hmm. Yeah, she did make her mummy, her husband into a mummy. Yeah. Uh, that old lady. I actually wonder whether that has something to do with the witch and the curse. Or if it's just a really weird, crazy, scary lady. Oh my god. Okay, guys, hold on. Oh god. Sorry. I can't see the bottom of the screen, apparently, on the new TV, and that apparently is a problem. Yeah, but I have a reputation to uphold. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, never mind. Couldn't even see if there were words. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, so the verdict is I'm gonna need to change the resolution on the television before we do another one of those because I should at least do better than that. Oh well. Yeah. That's fair. I've had that moment at band practice. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh oh, Greg is going to have something to say about that. No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh my god, May, I'm so proud of you. I did not actually expect her to tell her friends, but this is good. This is good. This is smart. If something bad is happening, telling people is actually usually a good idea for the people you can trust. So. Uh, oh, that's right. Yes, we had the nightmare about the well. It was not good. I'm so proud of her. Please, guys, be good friends. <laughs> that is true, B. No, she's not okay. No, she's not okay. Yeah, the fact that she's freaked out enough to, like, tell her friends to me indicates that, like, yeah, no, I'm kind of freaked out is the right answer for me. Okay, Angus, are you going to apply logic to this? Maybe it is a ghost because everybody just told me it wasn't and I have Hmm. <laughs> Dude's hug. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Source we can trust. 
I can't even tell if she's going to say something trollish or serious, but I think that's probably how it goes. No, May, God, I can't even tell if she's joking. May, no. Uh, that's a better choice. Yes. What about Grandpa's books? Oh. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, May. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's good. And what? Uh, are we going to go together? Ghosties on toasties. Toasty ghosties. Marshmallows are like the perfect example of a toasty ghosty because you could like write something on the face of it and make it look like a ghost and then put it over a fire and then it's toasty. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Jobs. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh jeez. Oh game volume is too low. Okay, we can we can turn it up. It's higher than it used to be, but that doesn't mean that it has to stay that low. Okay. Like I just want you guys to know that library is now what I think of when I think of libraries. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know that better is the word I would I would say. Oh wow, I am like totally missing part of the screen because I wouldn't have known that there was a Y except okay, hold on. Let me Oh. Mm. Resolution. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to make it so we can actually see the entirety of the game. Ah, I can actually see the entirety of the game. Okay. I should have done that all along. I can't jump. I can't jump. This is like the creepiest library music, I think. Like, is this like creepy library land? I want to jump in the library. I mean, I would probably get kicked out. But I'm like automatically just like hitting the jump button. You have really rocking glasses. Wait, is she smoking in the library? B. Books are flammable and cigarettes are full of fire. That's a really bad combination. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense if it's detective music because we're being de detectives. <laughs> oh my god, fish. Good night, Chris. Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> Who is Larry? Should I care? Hey, that book is red. I should read it. Oh. Well, I have a book that's so vibrant and not let me interact with it. All right. We're going to go up. They have an elevator. But it's always lit. Like, is it like a fake light? Oh man, libraries! I have spent a lot of time in my life with libraries. A resume? Bob Targ. Hmm. Oh dear, we're about to get really real, real, 
aren't we? Oh my god. I don't think May understands those words, B, but I do. Oh my god, what is this terrifying looking mascot creature? Charity Barity! Okay. This says, like, right here, like, B is like. B is like, I'm going to make commentary about, like, the state of the economy and the difficulty of finding employment if you find yourself unemployed um, because of ageism in the workforce. And May is like, you know what's cool? Cartoons. <clears throat> <laughs> oh wow foreshadowing foreshadowing so the thing is that May actually knows a lot of things but she doesn't she pretends she doesn't so whether May is aware of how bad things are in the world or not, literally, B is trying to talk about more serious stuff, and May is like, I'm gonna talk about cartoons. I think that it's pretty apparent that May is consciously trying to cling to her childlike innocence, presumably due to a number of traumas in her past that we have only the vaguest idea of. But functionally speaking, May tries to act like a child while demanding to be taken seriously as an adult. Um, so, it's complicated. So I'm wondering whether there's a cult, because like, there's definitely a curse. So like, is this foreshadowing hiding in the form of a cartoony thingum? Maybe, yeah, maybe Charity Barity did it. No, I do think she pretends she doesn't understand. She pretends to be baffled continuously by grown-up problems. And at, at this point, there's a certain degree of willful ignorance on her part. Because um, it's not that this... I mean, it does seem like her parents have tried to keep some of the realities of the world away from her. Um, but it also seems like she's actively been hiding... Uh, from the realities of the world. Um, because there'll be things that bees like, you were there for that, May. You should know about these things. Um, you know, she's definitely scared of facing adulthood, no question. Um, I don't know. I really wonder. She really wants to be taken seriously as an adult, but she doesn't want to be an adult. Yeah, may that... <laughs> oh my god, is B gonna rhyme what she just said? <laughs> well, there's being apprehensive about growing up, and then there's actively refusing to take responsibility. Like... I'm gonna go on another tangent here, folks. I'm sorry, there's a there's a tangent brewing in me. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh my god. No, but okay, so not wanting to grow up is a thing that I relate very strongly to. You asked for it, guys. You're going to get a tangent here. Um, and I'm going to respectfully disagree with you, Decapeptal. And I hope that you understand that this is a respectful disagreement. Um, so, like, when I was a kid, I had a serious thing about Peter Pan. And I had placed, like, childhood and childhood innocence on, like, an almost, like, religious level. And so, for me, the idea of growing up meant giving up magic basically to put it in as simple terms as possible and so I was extremely resistant to the idea of growing up um, which is very difficult because like I hit puberty in like fifth grade um, very upsetting um, a number of things like that um, that's very goat mon I'm gonna I'm gonna do my uh, I'm gonna do my my spec it's not, it's not even speculation this is just philosophical talking at this point. But yeah, no, like when you're a kid, um, you have this sense of magic, and when you grow up, you're forced to leave it behind. But if you are a person who is responsible, fifth grade is like 11. Um, I had m grown men making really lewd comments to me by the time I was 12. I was not even a teenager. So that hit me really hard. Um, it was not a good time. Um, but you eventually realize that there's, I wouldn't quite go so far, Chrono, as to say men are pigs, but I would say that society um, excuses the worst behavior from men and encourages them, and therefore a significant number of men um, who might otherwise be shamed into behaving like decent human beings don't have to and therefore don't. Um, so, um, but, Anyway, for me, a big, um, yes, childlikeness, but childishness, that's a very important distinction, Fuzzy, and that's actually probably, like, the center of my, um, philosophy on life at this point. So I relate to wanting to have childlike innocence. May is not doing that, in my opinion. May is hiding. Specifically, there are there is something she is hiding from. Um, there's some some like big dark ominous evil that she like doesn't want to acknowledge. Did did C.S. Lewis actually say that? Because I think that being an adult and being a grown up, being those being different things. Like for me, the way I've reconciled all of this is that I am an adult, which means that when things get real and somebody needs to step up and get things done, I'm going to do it. Um, but I'm also going to play video games and look at clouds and try to figure out which one of them is a unicorn um, and daydream about stuff and ask what if. Um, and so that's like a thing that like if May were like an ordinary kid who doesn't want to grow up, at, like kid at heart. Um, I think that it would be different. I think that she would be more naive and less willfully holding on to her ignorance. But there's a reason of some sort why she doesn't want to engage with, like... She doesn't want to engage with, like, her friend's mom dying. That is not clinging to childhood in a sense. That is willfully refusing to engage with difficult subjects for some reason. And so it's things like that that make me say that it is not that May is clinging to her childhood in a sense. It is something deeper and more specific than that. So, yeah, that's a, uh, that's, I got distracted from my tangent and kind of tangented in my tangent a few times. Like, I feel like I should have like a T that's like tangent, Lauren. Um, anyway, yeah.
Well, I may have misunderstood what you were saying then, Decapeptal. Um... I don't know if it's a rejection of all responsibility stemming from hiding from consequences of past actions. I think that, um... It goes beyond responsibility. I think there's something she's afraid of. Because, like, I don't think that it's, like... Like, if it's just that she's in the habit of avoiding responsibility, like, that's a habit. Um, I think... I love sometimes her little ear flops. Why? Wait, no, her ear was totally flopping! May, you're proving me a liar! Like, every three steps, she stops and looks at B. Oh my god, she's so tiny. Um... I mean, she's reflected, like, May has clearly got an understanding of, um, politics and critique of society and things like that, because periodically she'll bust something out. But she keeps, for the most part, she keeps that behind the door that she closes. So. I'm so slow. I feel like there's got to be something beyond Charity Verity up here. Why would you have mayo and peanut butter? No. I, I do think she probably doesn't care a whole lot about socialism because she doesn't really think about it because she's trying not to. I don't know. We'll see. I will say, though, um, I don't know what it's like to be a teenager growing up now, but, like, being a teenager growing up, like, you know, 10, 15 years ago, like, the idea of socialism that you learned about is not actually necessarily what socialism really is. So if she's just going off of her high school education, and B, on the other hand, is actually, like, a card-carrying member of a social, or a socialist, um, I don't even know what the word would be club is not the right word um then their understanding of those of that is probably very different going up <laughs> it's so dark why is it so dark oh boy ghost that's true he did and then there's the possibility that uh, Aunt Mall Cop is in on it <sighs> not a party stone vendor more like a specific like local group because I've got a friend's yeah, what does the A stand for in DSA? Because I have friends who are in those groups. <laughs> Robin Gable, okay, that is a good line. <laughs> Hi, Rolling Peanut Shell. Association, oh, okay. But association might be the word I'm looking for. Okay, thank you guys for filling in my lack of acronym knowledge. This is a good summary of things. And that's not good. That's right, May. Oh no, May! Oh. <laughs> okay, got some triangles. You know, I feel like... <laughs> nice, Colonel. I feel like if we are currently like incubating a generation of communist furries that are then going to save America. I'm down with this. Especially if they grow up on Steven Universe and Undertale. Like, I'm okay with this. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. 
Oh no, Kate. Oh no. Hmm. Oh, this is the microfish reader. Microfish. Oh, the music is going away. This is not good. Although I do have to say, actually, that communism and socialism are not the same thing. And communism is actually a bad idea, and socialism has some really useful elements. So, there, I'm getting political. People are like, don't get political, Lauren, you're an entertainer. And I'm like, have you not been paying attention to anything that I've said the entire time I've been streaming? I want people to take care of each other and respect each other and give each other dignity and human rights. And that shouldn't be political, but it is. So. Oh no, Chrono. <laughs> Yeah, well, Spikey, I feel like anybody who's been watching me since Undertale and heard me, like, talking about the importance of respecting people's non-binary gender identity, like, if you somehow don't get where I stand on things from that, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Rolling peanut shell. Yeah, well, politics in America can affect the rest of the world. I know Tara Chant, right? Like, that shouldn't be. Oh no, B. Hmm. <laughs> I know, Papa Gable. I actually went to TwitchCon, um, and there was a panel on social responsibility for, um, like, being a, a professional in, like, entertainment fields, and like, most of the panelists were like, I don't go into politics. I want people to be able to escape and come to my stream and have it be a safe place. Um, and then there's one girl who's like, excuse me, but as a woman who identifies as LGBT, I am inherently political and I have nothing against that. And if you consider it too political for me to talk about my rights and the rights of people like me, then I can't help you. And I was like, you're a super cool lady. I have like a super crush on you, lady. Who just subscribed? Thank you. <laughs> oh no, does jinxing mean that you have to kiss now? Who just subscribed? Thank you. Blood stars, thank you for following. Hi. Yes, that's my somebody subscribes to me sound effect cue. Generally, Kate, that's true. I agree. All right, so back to the game, although I feel like it's somewhat in keeping with the spirit of this game for me to go off on random tangents about politics and growing up and things. Well, thank you, Blood Stars. I appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> Thanks, Papa Gable. Yeah. <gasps> okay, this is adorable. They are adorable. I'm sorry, this is a cute line. This is cute. I'm really glad. Oh no, Chrono, are you about to quote Wonderwall? Because that's what I'm sensing here. <laughs> she had this moment of silence when she couldn't even sass. And then she had to sass. But she had this like I think this like momentary like, oh That's pretty great. Well, Bloodstars, I'm glad you made it live. We're going to be playing an hour earlier, starting in a few weeks' time, but for now, this will be good. Oh, good! I'm glad you're playing the game. Well, I don't want to spoil your playthrough, so if you're just here to drop in, that's okay. Or if you've gotten farther than me and you want to see me make stupid faces at the characters, like, feel free to stick around. <laughs> 
Oh, no. Hey, no. Don't sass her too much. No. Oh, she's just going to ignore it. <laughs> All right. What are we looking for? No, you don't. <laughs> yes! This is really weird music. Oh my god, they're fighting over it. May, come on. This is why. <laughs> yes. Oh goodness, okay. No, but if enough... Although, tragically, um... Mine tragedies are not uncommon. This element is similar to, um... Searching for stars. The music is kind of earthboundy. Ah! <gasps> hey, there's a name I know! So... My great, 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 maybe one more great grandfather? Let us strike. Oh, May. I can't even tell if she's teasing or joking. Star. Oh, hey! Hmm. Roy Burge. Hmm. Oh, no! They're missing a comma after the word operator. Also, street should probably be capitalized after market. So there's a lot of reading, so I might be quiet. Oh, hey! Creepy old lady! Alright. Yeah. That's a good idea, me. Okay, so, okay. So here's the possum. Okay. 
Okay, so there was an explosion at the mine. They st had a strike. Striked? Is that how you conjugate that? The strike was interrupted by a massacre that included the death of children, which then led to outside involvement. And so their graves are going to be significant. I wonder how much this goes back to the strike and to the mine. Some of the nightmare levels. There was a mine nightmare level, I think. So there's angry spirits that we have to put to rest with music. And I have yet to figure out exactly how that works and that's frustrating to me, so. I'll figure that out eventually. But I feel like I don't have enough pieces to put it together. All right. Oh, Deep Hollow County history and culture. Ah, oh my God, the writing in this is really. Oh, wow. Oh boy. that dad cleared the stuff out from. Yes, I have a tooth. Which, I mean, this fella right here, Arthur. Oh, geez, okay, hold on. Okay. Wait, no, but guys, the tooth was in 1870 and the strike of 1889. So this whole thing was going on here. And then a whole lot of stuff happened all of a sudden in the last year of the, before the strike. Okay. <laughs> of course you think it's cool, May. I wonder, was Gramps a maternal or paternal grandfather? Bye, Doug. That's a lot of people lost. So there's like hundreds of people dead because of this. I, um, I can see the uh, the political nature of this game goes way back. Um, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey. Pine and Harvey, Bledsoe, Stanoff, and I don't know how to. Hmm. Those names are going to be significant. 
Mines are like the most ter one of the most terrifying things in the world. Okay. Oh, you want to put the exclamation point quote space add space and then the thing and put it in quote marks. What is significant here? <sighs> like, is this one just flavor? Councilman Puchinskaya. Okay, no. Look, I've got to cross reference this stuff. Hey, ghost! Joe. Hmm. Mm. That is such a good way of phrasing it, you know? when I wasn't in school. Softball incident. That's the most detail we've gotten so far. Okay, so we're gonna go there. Hold on. Joe. No Joe. No Joe. No Joe. No Joe. No Joe. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here's little Joe. Joe Shade. Hmm. Unruly and often destructive local youths. Huh. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Somebody thought they were really funny. Stay history is a good way of putting it. Yeah. Oh, B. She's like, despite you, May, I really like you. No! No, I'm not done yet! No, I'm not done yet! No! Yeah! <sighs> Samuel Coulson. We are very anxious to be delighted. I wonder what that is, Mr. Coulson. Progress Springs in Possum Springs. Hmm. Ah, here we go. I was just wondering what Mr. Coulson was up to. Hmm. Okay. So the mine owner coke works. That's glass production, right? Okay, so here's a bunch of people who are trying to make the town better. 
to make up for the fact that they murdered a lot of people? Hmm. Yes, the next game is supposed to be Crisis Cross. Okay, let's see. Albino Groundhog. Oh, okay, never mind then. Oh no! Oh, wow. No, but this has dead children. <laughs> the women's camp has expanded its services from serving meals to beating any non-union miner from entering the mine. So far they have been successful in both ventures. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, the writing of this is hilarious. This is very funny. <laughs> I mean, like, the subject matter is actually really upsetting, but, like, those last two sentences are hilarious. Oh man. Yeah, I've heard that proto. Okay. Bonk. Okay, so several hundred people died. And that was after they stole the teeth out of this local mine. Which is, by the way, this is horrifying. Like, they pulled this guy's teeth out. I mean, admittedly, he as was probably, like, less directly but still un, uh, like, definitely, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Anyway, harming their families in very, very, like, physical safety sort of ways, too, so. Yeah. 45 days of the strike. And this is, oh, where is it? This is the 30th day. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Straight up? Oh, hey! Here's another one I haven't seen before. Stanley T. Possum. We are smitten. Popcorn. This is very, very period piece. I wonder, though, because I definitely believe that there's magic and supernatural elements in this game. Hmm. So. Elm Street. Larch Street, not Elm Street. Carson Zimmer, Cooper's Pond. Shade. I think I've heard that name before. Mm. 
Is this B's dad, Roy Burge? I don't remember what B's last name is. Hmm. Well, there's some really interesting stuff going on here. Santello, thank you. Okay. Well, okay. Hmm. There's lots of things and I want to put them all together and I don't have the pieces. Wrong button. Oh, right button. We've got some leads. No! <sighs> yep. Hmm. Oh no, okay, May, if you, if you are thoughtlessly terrible at B's mother's graveyard, gravestone, I'm going to be mad at you. I'm going to be so mad at you. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. May. I really want to know about the softball incident. So May seriously injured. So like, you could injure somebody by accident and they go to the hospital and then like, you have to pay their hospital bills or whatever, but, like, you don't necessarily have to go to therapy because, like, things go wrong. And if you, like, throw a ball at a kid's face and break his nose, but you're just, like, super mad, you'll, like, get, like, suspended. But I don't think they'd be, like, you are out of school and have to go through massive therapy. I really wonder, like, what happened. Because I'm, I'm seeing two possible reasons why... Yeah, I know Gundy, but but um, but I can still talk about it. Um, I, I I can see two possible reasons why. Either there's some sort of a curse of uncontrollable rage um, that came out in May, and she's terrified of it happening again, or she somebody did something terrible to her, and she retaliated against it. And maybe went overboard or maybe not. You know, it's clearly not an accident. I'm just saying. Um, it's okay, guys. It's okay. I just... Um, I'm really curious which of those it is. And yeah, no, if you do want to talk about things, even if just like, oh my god, Lauren, ah, where did you even get that from? And now you're running off a cliff with it. Um, we do have a special channel specifically on our Discord server so that people can talk about things. I don't know. Like, um, I feel like if she beats somebody half to death with a baseball bat, I don't think the softball incident would be what it would be called unless it had to do with being on a softball team. Like, I don't know. It's a weird and intriguing name because softballs themselves are not very intimidating. You know, like that's kind of like the point. So this is probably a conversation that has more significance um, than we might originally think because I think that history and the witch's curse is repeating and I think it's repeating through May and I think May is scared of that whatever it is happening again um and I think that May 
left. Oh, here's an idea. Maybe May left school because she could tell that whatever led to the softball incident was going to happen again. Maybe it was the dreams. Maybe it was something else. Maybe she either hurt somebody or almost hurt somebody and got away and was like, you know, let's just not do that again. That would make sense, actually. Hmm. Can I go down a lower level? Is there a basement? Yeah, well, I also couldn't see the bottom of the screen, so I had no idea what the timing was supposed to be for the first little while. I just want there to be more something. But there's not, and we're going so slowly. That's what I have to say. Anyway, it's really hard for people who are like over the age of like 35 or 40 to start a new career, especially people who are 50. So. They do, I wanna jump on them so badly. I just wanna jump on everything. I wonder if I can sneak in here in the middle of the night. Oh, hey! I don't like the thought of this. <clears throat> oh no, what are, what is going on? That's Selmers! Yes, Squizgar, I'm thinking I might play through again, but go Greg Path. Okay, so Selmers appears to be having some trouble here. Miss Quelsey? Oh. Oh wow. Nice. Our teacher survivalists. Yeah, so like shout out to all the teachers out there. If any of you guys are teachers or are related to teachers, like teachers do so much of their work, like unpaid, unappreciated. Um, they put a lot of their um like their heart and their soul and their money um into making things go. And so basically anybody who accuses teachers of being like greedy or whatever doesn't know teachers so teachers are amazing and I know there are bad teachers but um, we don't treat teachers well at all as a society yeah yeah Oh, I thought that Selmers was in trouble. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Selmers has a club. Teacher club. Yes. Obviously, yes. Why would I ever not? Oh, my God. Okay, hit two key. That's excellent. That is excellent. Squares I think that's part of it, but I think that people also um, do things like justify not teaching or not paying teachers by saying, oh, well, they're only working for nine months of the year, so they get paid so much. It's like, do you have any idea how much of their salary they have to put into running their classroom? Do you have any idea how many hours outside of the workday they have to put into teaching? It, like, it goes home with them. It takes up their lives. So, yeah. Fisherman Jones. <gasps> oh my god, it's that guy! They, had, they told us that he was a fisherman so that we would be like, Oh, I do know him! I do know him! He was totally writing poetry. Selma and Forrester. Oh, man. Oh, May. Hmm. 
That's adorable. Oh my god! Two poems! Oh my god, I wonder if these are going to be the poems that we've heard him working on. Alright! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh no. I thought he was slightly better than this. That's okay. Ah. Hmm. Tunnel frogs. some stuff. Oh, me. Oh, me. <gasps> Selmers! Yay! <Yeah! laughs> That's really cute! That's really cute! Oh my god! I didn't realize that they could hear you were there. I guess maybe she cheered loudly enough. I have a friend! Oh, that's really cute. I think that... Oh, this is not going to be funny, is it? Oh, man. Hmm. This is about to get... This is either going to be really funny and cute, or it's going to be like, we're going to be like, oh, it's going to be funny, and then we're going to just cry at the end, which is totally fine with me. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So I love watching spoken word poetry. It's so cool. And I you can just tell from the way that's written that it is written to be spoken out loud. And you can like hear in your head how it would be delivered and the pauses and the emphasis on the words. Yes. Yes. That was good. Well, the thing is, Squizgar, because it's, at least, maybe it's just neat, but that very much reads like, reads like a poem that's supposed to be spoken words, so the rhythm and meter is not what, like, a traditional poetry form would necessarily be, because it's, 
it's supposed to roll off the tongue and the emphasis is a certain way so you can like I don't know it's just, it, it, it's different it works it's not it's it, it's it's not quite free verse because there is some rhyming but there's there's a feel and a flow and a pattern um that that kind of poetry has that is not like a traditional form but it's not free verse either I mean I guess technically it is free verse but it's not what we think of as free verse it's more structured it has its own conventions which I am not remotely qualified to speak about um but oh good I was gonna ask if people if there's if there are any good readings of that because that's really cool that's really cool Thanks, May. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> B is like, what is happening here? B is like, oh wait, you guys are like actually like friend friends. Oh my god, my buddies are on a couch. Wait, whose couch is this? Okay, I was, yeah, I was gonna say this isn't my couch. This is the boys' couch. Got it, boys. Oh my God, Greg and May are so tiny. Yes. Oh my God, look at that enthusiastic head bob, and she's smiling. May is like, maybe I actually won't get nightmares if we do this. Ah. Joe Shade? <laughs> She's so authoritative here. <laughs> well, you can be sure that Greg will be the audience you want. Yeah, it's a nice detail, Squizgar. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the perfect thing. Like, um, just be, like, just the, the, okay, <laughs> just like, okay, it's, it's May, what are you gonna do? Is May wearing cutoffs? No, she's wearing short pants, like me. I wear short pants because capris become short pants on me and regular pants become long pants on me. <laughs> her, 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 her arms just, like, drop, like, like noodles. <laughs> I'm really glad. I feel like May and B's friendship, like, being resumed really makes sense. I wonder how this plays out if you don't take the time to befriend her, to uh, remind her of the fact that you guys are friends. I don't know. I'm curious about that. Maybe we'll find out. So there's a graveyard, yeah, which B wants. It's close and not illegal. Thank you, B. Somebody's got to be a grown-up. Oh, my God! <laughs> Look at Greg's face. Look at Greg's face. Look. Look at how happy. He's so happy. His little eyes are just, like, spraying. I'm happy. He's a happy guy. Oh, my God. He's just too happy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and the two of them are just like, whatever. Crimes. Crimes. Yeah. Oh, Angus. Mmm. Oh, his ears. He had a reaction to that. Look at those ears. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. You will have expertise then. Excellent. Good. We could use that. Oh, man. Yeah, Blade Tiger. I feel like that is like the perfect description of what just happened here. Uh, it's okay. Greg will find a way to make crimes. <laughs> Four exclamation points! Oh my god, he was a Cub Scout. Yeah, because he's a bear. Oh, man. 
Yeah, so there's a thing. Um, when <clears throat> you're dealing with something really traumatic and you, like, laugh and make jokes about it, um, that is really covering up how, like, fundamentally messed up you are about it. Um, that's a thing that I do. It's not good. I will laugh about horrible things and sometimes that makes other people be like, haha, maybe it's not so bad. And then people are like, why are you laughing about that? And sometimes I'm like, oh, it's funny. And they're like, no, it is, it is like not even close to funny. Um, so I actually had a therapist who was like, how about you stop laughing about things that aren't actually funny and you cried and I just like burst out sobbing and just couldn't control myself. Um, so May has her own thing. So, yeah. I don't laugh about horrible stuff overall, but I laugh defensively when talking about things that are really upsetting to me a lot of times, for better or for worse, really for worse. It, like, it's not good. Sometimes it's the only thing that keeps you going from having like a total meltdown. And so that's kind of like, okay, is like a temporary thing, but you have to actually address that stuff. So, oh my God, are we doing this? <laughs> I appreciate how you guys can do such a good job just like as a group going through. No, Gundy Butt, though, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about making comedy out of tragedy. I'm talking about um, uh, having an inappropriate response to cover the feelings that you have in your own life as an unhealthy coping mechanism related to trauma or pain, which is like, I mean... I am descended from Jews, like the masters of making comedy out of tragedy. When you're given that much tragedy, you kind of have to do something with it. Um, and creating some of the world's greatest comedians is a pretty decent way to go. But um, this is a bad coping mechanism. So it's not not good. And I feel like that's where May is right now. I relate to that. All right, Dad, we're going to watch some not good humor and maybe talk about things. Erg. Mm. The erg. Yes, because we might lose our house because Mom and Dad, I think, took out a second mortgage or something like that. And there was a predatory loan. Yay! So now we're going to lose a house. And that was all money that they were going to spend or that they that they were going to use to put May through college. But instead she dropped out. And this is not good. Yeah, but it's cool. We made up. Hmm. Yeah, Nick, I think that that's the idea. I don't even know exactly what that is by definition, but... Hmm. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's really... Oh, yeah, God, my mom and I are embarrassingly alike. I mean, we look alike, so if you guys follow me on social media and you've ever, like, seen the photos of me and my mom and my sister, it's really kind of eerie. Um, and I'm not much like my dad, so like his family always confused me. And sometimes their sense of humor would make me cry when I was a kid, but I've since come to a better understanding of it. But I'm very much like my mom, for better and for worse. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dad, no. <laughs> oh, God.
Well, you guys ready for a nightmare? I can jump again. So Grandpa kept the tooth in his safe. I'm gonna have to find the tooth, the secret tooth club. Hmm. 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 Oop. One of these days I'm going to jump onto here and it's going to do something sweet. But until then, I'm just going to jump. So that's totally mom pregnant with me right there. I don't know if it's a cave. Like, I think it's a basement. Although, come to think of it, it might also be like a mining tunnel of some sort. Because, like, this is very definitely uh, built up. But I think it's a basement. Jumping on things is extremely important. It's fantastic. We should all jump on everything. Oh, I imagine, Madlands, I imagine that it's a, uh, like a really, like one of those really, really steep staircases to go down there. Yeah, I think it's a basement. <laughs> Okay, so I can internet. Jumping on everything you can. I actually am not very good at jumping on things in real life. Oh my god. Ella is on the couch and she's sleeping and her little feet are twitching. She's having little kitty dreams. Her like feet are like kittying. It's really cute. All right, let's see. What is the power of May's internet? Fantastic yums. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Gundy, but yeah, no, I made this shirt for the music video that um, my friends and I put out today. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Hmm. That's really cute. <laughs> the perfectly timed lol. Hi, buddy. You're gonna break in? Totally sweet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, kitties are stretching cutely. Thanks, Greg. That sounds like something that would happen in The Sims. Oh, yay! Yay! I have played Demon Tower. I was not as bad at it as I thought I would be. And that's really what I've got about that. <laughs> that was precious. Hmm. Casey, right? Oh man. Yeah, I know the news. Yeah. I I always have a hard time remembering the news in the morning. All right, guys. Shall we nightmare? Angus is a sweet teddy bear. Witch dagger. Let's nightmare. I 
I like the little sound effects. Oh, jeez. It doesn't even, like, pretend you're not going to nightmare. Like, it makes this really ominous sound. Is that the same figure that I'd seen before floating around? Are these... <sighs> I wonder if these are the dead from the mine. <gasps> We're underwater. Those are definitely dead bodies. The town is drowned. Why are they sending me these dreams? Am I putting something to rest? Okay, I actually saw that one coming. <gasps> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? That's the one. Okay, so the fish don't hurt you. making an assumption here but whoever he is he's been in every single one of these dreams just sit, hanging out just smoking hanging out I don't think he's little Joe I don't think that I think of May's dreams as a reflection of her um, days, but I think that we've been seeing things this whole time and I haven't had any context to understand them. It is Geodude! I cosplayed, I didn't get any candy, but I did make a cake for my coworkers, which they didn't eat all of. So now I have way too much cake in my house. I also don't think that the fellow kid is significant enough to the, uh, to the story. Like, not in that way. Whoever this figure is here, he is supernatural. I don't think the kid was supernatural. I think that the kid was a person and something happened. My guess is that the kid did something petty and terrible and normal and human. And May had a reaction that was not a normal human reaction. Yeah, no, the bodies are really upsetting in a, like, I just won't think about them sort of way. I love that we are simultaneously underwater, 
in space and in a town. The violin is going to give us the melody. So do you think that like that Daniel and Curious Quail and I should do all of these songs? Should we just do a set of them all? Astral Alley is still my favorite, but... Oh god. They're inside there. And the moon. Dusk stars. Oh man, I made a mint chocolate cake too, D. T. This one doesn't really have a melody. There we go. How many indus industries tortured the people of Possum Springs to death? Mining? Railroad? Whatever the, uh, other the coke works glass works I mean, it's a really good soundtrack. creature will it be? Printing sound, like, uh, physical copies of soundtracks is really expensive. Gundy, but those are, is that a, is that like an old miners song? Trying to think. What could it be? T Rex seems unlikely. Um uh, eels, huh? We are underwater actually, so that does actually make sense for it to be a water creature. A, a giant fish or a giant eel? Maybe a frog. Let's find out. It's a crane! Did May fall over that time? I always... I'm always so shocked by... Or Heron, that's true. I find it interesting that this song is different now. Okay, I thought so parking lot possum. I didn't see if that was the same this time around. But I've looked back on some of the previous streams to check out that.
rhythms are not my strong suit, so it took me a little while to um, figure out that last little section there. It's a different instrument, like I can't even tell what the main instrument here is. The instrumentation it, is different. It's similar, but it's not the same. Oh hey, we still got an hour tonight! Despite... I mean, I guess it's because we did the whole day. Otherwise yesterday... Alright, let's check our computers. Alright, the news says... <laughs> Thanks, news. Very helpful. Hmm. Oh my god, yes! Did I tell you guys longest night is um was a was a holiday in the world of the D and D not the D and D but the homebrew tabletop game that I ran for like ten years because their um <clears throat> their religion was based on the light and the dark so longest night was like this very significant holiday which it is in other cultures too but <clears throat> okay vid. Buy this game and play it, and don't get spoiled. It's really good. <laughs> That's cute. Oh dear. Thanks, Angus. Hi. Thanks, Sharkle. Everybody's helping. Anyway, but it's a good game, and the people who make it seem like really awesome people, so you should play it. Support them, and then play it, and have it be awesome. Oh yes, it's about coal and crimes, and being a super cute cat girl, <laughs> but not the way you think. Hello, bird! Yes, I can talk to- oh, we'll have to be on the ground to talk to the bird, huh? <laughs> Jinx! Oh, okay, so you did play Lost Constellation on Longest Night. Then you should absolutely play this game. <laughs> Sharkle is pretty special. Oh, May, that's really sweet. Oh, my God. If you look at her face when she jumps, guys. May likes jumping on things as much as I like having May jump on things. We have a symbiotic relationship. Wee! Wee! Look at how happy. Look at the joy I'm bringing to her. Look at her little eyes tilt up, too. It's not like a big smile, but I think she's a little happy. And that's good. Well, hi, mom. Oh my god, I love how lumpy her mom is. All right, mom. See how real we're about to get. Oh. Limp, huh? Yeah, weird dreams is definitely true. I need to say weird a lot. Aww. Hmm. Yeah, Vid, you don't want, um, you don't want to get the realness of this game spoiled for you. Let me know if you play it. I want to hear about how it goes. Thanks for dropping by. Mm. Headache meds. Hmm. Have we talked about having a headache with mom before and I've just forgotten it? I need more sleep. I have been sleeping miserably. I'm going to take some melatonin tonight and cross your fingers that I get like an actual night's sleep because I haven't slept well in like two or three weeks because of like the job and like the band travel and job interview and then like am I gonna get the job and then like I got the job and then am I gonna take the job and then yes I took the job and now I'm moving halfway across the country 
for the first time in my life in three weeks. So good luck with that, Lauren. Ah, sleep. But melatonin should help, and then I can focus. Hmm. <laughs> Is Megan gonna be like, I'm a growing girl? Oh, that's really cute. Oh my gosh. That's super cute. Yeah, for those of you who missed the beginning of the stream, I'm going to be um, living and working about an hour from where Night in the Woods takes place, I've been told. So, but it's a college town, so it doesn't, it hasn't quite um, been hurt the way a lot of the Rust Belt towns in the area have, so. Oh no, Goatmon, I'm sorry. Sleeping on your stomach. Isn't that supposed to be harder for breathing or something? All I know is that like when I started sleeping without a pillow, my neck and shoulders got better. So there's that. Uh, I don't know where that is, Joe, but uh, it's, it's like somewhere in the vicinity. I don't know exactly like how they would relate to each other, but... I just think it's really funny that that's how it wound up. <laughs> Sleepy girl is really cute. Oh my god, look at how well I'm doing. The town from May's first nightmare, though. Do you mean the place where she go? The place where she goes to school. What school did she go to? What kind of school did she go to? What kind of school did she go to? Do we know? <laughs> Mom approves of this. <sighs> Interesting. I don't think so, kangaroops. <laughs> but just checking. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't look at the. I didn't. I don't remember the name of the town, but I knew that that was where her college was. So. Hmm. Well, so the full full disclosure. I work at universities. Um. So I'm wondering whether. It's based on the school that I'm going to go work at. <laughs> so we'll see. But that's not what it's called. But that would be really interesting. Aw, thank you, T. That's really sweet. Yay. I appreciate the cheering. You guys don't ever have to cheer, but I know some of you guys have cheered and subscribed and stuff. And I just want to say thank you for that. Because that's going to make my move a little bit easier. But thank you. Oh god, snoring. I'm not the snorer, um, but I have been around enough snorers to know that yes, back sleeping for snorers is bad. Hmm. Oh yes, I can talk to mom. Mom. <laughs> Just never leave bed. Hmm. Cloudies. Gloomy <laughs> little eel. Oh my god, her mom is so cute. <laughs> oh my god. I'm glad that I got to have that moment with mom. Grumpy, grumpy crumpets. Thank you for following. I really enjoy your name. It's really fun to say. I like bright sunny days and I like rainy days. I like having both. Because some days you just need sun and sometimes you don't need sun. 
Is the music different here now? If I move into the apartment that I looked at today, if I look out the window, I will see a bridge that looks a lot like this one. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh, thank you, Chrono! Oh, hey, I guess freezing is actually going to be a thing. <laughs> you're not lost, you're here! Hmm. Well, I guess I just, like, chat constantly. Oh god, hopefully not, Squizgar. I don't want to... I love May. I'm really interested in her story. I don't really want to be here. Yeah, and the severed arms and ghosts kidnapping children. I could probably do with that. So, there are three dead children in history now, like in the history of this town that we know about. That's right, Gundy. I'm moving to Pennsylvania. There's gonna be snow. This Texas girl's not sure what to do about that, but I'm excited about figuring it out. Oh, I guess there's probably people to talk to here. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Selmers! You were so great last night. Oh my god, she takes it happily. Good, I'm really glad. Ah! Oh my god! Yes! Of course! Yeah! Okay, this one's gonna be goofy and cute, huh? Aww. <laughs> All right, T, I'll do that. <laughs> I love how May like interrupts in the middle of she like say two lines of the poem, and May's like, "I have thoughts." Um, which actually I would do never. So like, never mind. <laughs> Fact one to talk a lot. Wait, what is she? She's crying about oh, a crocodilian. Now I can jump upstairs. I got it. Hello, you gonna yell at me? How are you gonna yell at me this time? Hold up, this might be the first civil conversation I have ever had with this person. He's going to say something not very nice. <gasps> oh, so close. Okay, buddy's not up on the roof there. Ah, uh, a crocodile <laughs> tears from cellars. Okay, that's great. Murder ballads are at least very, uh, listenable. Hello, squirrels! What's the sticker in the window, I wonder? I should get a sticker that's like, I have cats, please rescue them in the event of a fire. I haven't really felt like Old Porch Man was like, friendly yelling, but um, at least he's not my next door neighbor yelling. Which is not very good. Oh man, May. 
May, did you beat a kid half to death with a baseball bat? Because like, that's kind of what it's kind of what it's seeming like, buddy. That's really brutal. Like, like, and don't don't confirm or deny, folks, but. Oh, look at me! I just totally kicked an acorn! Kicked an acorn! Acorn kicking clean! That's me! Hi, squirrels! Oh! 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 Hello! Friend on the roof! Hello, friend on the roof! on the roof yeah wait does that one does that one have like little like hoof claw things or gloves hmm <laughs> statue that was mentioned in um that microfish that is spooky no you don't want someone hanging around outside your window that is yeah I mean I guess if it's like your friend being like hey sneak out and come do crimes with me then like maybe it's probably fine with that because that's Greg That is true. <laughs> There's some really talkative birds up here. All right, May. I'm glad we bonded. Oh my god, we can go talk to Lori. Oh my god, I love Selmers. I love this right here. That's really cute. Yay, Selmers! That's right, I smashed a bunch of light things. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Honey, I'm warm. Oh my god, that whatever that was a great moment. Ha <laughs> Oh no. I should probably look at the notebook every time I start playing. Oh my god, I'm gonna go see Lori. It's gonna be great. That's right, the three weird teens, they gave me um they gave me a prophecy. <laughs> look at all these pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. Some of them aren't happy. And then yeah, bad times happened. That's really not good. Some bad stuff. Simone was awesome. Those are some really loud birds. They're so birds. Louds. Bird. Loud. Thought. Birds. We never did get to the bottom of that arm. Turtles. Hmm. Big skeleton. Hmm. Hmm. All right, buddy. Well, I'm gonna go talk to somebody I like even more than I like. Ooh. 
This is a good question. Probably not. That's just a great observation. Thank you, May. I'm glad to know that we're considering their big things. Okay, so this statue, huh? You worried about this dude? I can understand being worried about that dude. Because, I mean, like... He is right there. Alright. No, it is a weird place to put a statue. May, would you steal underwear? Oh man, I was telling somebody about Katie Washington. I will never forget that Katie Washington has never lost a child. One of these days, there's gonna be something here besides the ball of thread and Casey. Let's go visit Pastor K. I like Pastor K. Pastor K is the kind of grown up that you want to grow up to be. You know? She still manages to hold on to some of her idealism. You know? She tries to temper it. With pragmatism instead of cynicism. And I think she's a pretty good role model. Hi, Mom! Are we gonna take a walk? Are we gonna take a walk together? Oh my gosh, I hope we do. Let's take a walk. Yes! 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 Oh my god! May, you're a bad influence on your mom in the best way! Yes! Yes! Yeah! No, absolutely, yes! Oh my god, okay, this is great, yes! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god! Mm. <laughs> oh my god! Mom, you're no fun! Mom crimes, oh my god! Oh, have I forgotten because of trauma? Oh! Hmm. Interesting. That is a really interesting... Um, when you become an adult and you start thinking about your, your parents as people instead of your parents. It's an interesting transition. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a good... Oh my god, look at how much taller than me mom is. Am I really full grown? Is mom taller than dad? Can I jump on this tree? No, can I jump on mom? Hi mom! Hmm. 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 Children aren't taller than me. <laughs> oh, May. <laughs> I love her parents' sense of humor. I just gotta make sure that there's not, like, secret stuff hidden back here. Yeah, no, May is tiny. Knox! Knox, it's not quite time. Is that so? Is that so? Do you want to come say hi to chat? Chat, do you want to say hi to Knox? It's Knox! She's a kitty! Hi, baby girl. I am also a kitty today. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. I'm a Knox. Meow 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 meow
Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh my god, she's such a baby. Who's a baby? Who's a baby cat? She's all purr, purr, purr. No, shall we play this game? Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, good, Gundy Butts. Tell your cat that Knox says hi to your cat. Knox, do you say hi to Gundy Butts' cat? Hi to Gundy Butts' cat! <laughs> I'm cool. Hi, baby. Oh my god, I love you too, little girl. <laughs> She's such a good kitty. Alright, Knox. We're gonna play Knox in the Woods. Alright, baby cat. What is this place? This is a good question. Jenny's Field. That's a good name. Hmm. The 30s. Uh-oh. Hmm. Of the microfiche, is there anything that we saw that would have been in the 30s? I think maybe. I know, because the 30s was the Great Depression. Hmm. Uh-oh. That's not where I thought this story was going to go. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Mom, that's weird. Please don't fall, Mom. Please. Ah! <laughs> oh! What is this? Hmm. Hmm. All right, Knox, you can get down. Hmm. That's cute. <laughs> oh my god, May's mom is really cute. Okay, well, now I know what we have to do. We all know what we have to do. Yep. Got it. There's little steps. I'm gonna make my mom proud. Oops. Maybe not like that. Look at me, Mom! <laughs> uh, grass? Uh, uh, mmm, significance here, look at that. Seeing the way out? Or seeing the town? Hmm. Hmm. Let's be poetic. Hmm. That's actually a really good way of thinking about it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Is it a dream of going away to college and leaving this place forever? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. But you can't leave. 
Because you're my mom. <laughs> Her mom is really cute. <laughs> Her mom is laughing. <laughs> okay, that was really cute. That was adorable. All right. No, look, there's us in the field. And there's Jenny. So that's four dead children. Washington has never lost a child. That's what they're all doing wrong. We haven't seen any bird people here. Yeah, well, it's it, like May and her mom in a way have kind of turned a corner where like her mom is finally confiding in her some of the adult worries. Um, but there's like upsides to your parents treating you like an adult too. And yeah, no, in a way, like I think May has passed that kind of initiation period. Hmm. Hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I think having a journal to look back later is really good. Um, but I also think that it's a really good way to, uh, sort through your thoughts and feelings. Like, I have, um, I don't know if it's pronounced a teco or a techo, um, one of the journals from, um, Itoi's company, um, that I got, and I actually used it a lot earlier this year to process a lot of, like, the aftermath of my breakup and what I wanted to do with my life. And I think it's kind of telling I haven't really needed it lately. But, um, it's very handy for that. Oh, nice, Possum. I'm glad. Hmm. It's significant to me that this starts with Granddad. I mean, we now know that Granddad was part of the, um, Tooth Club. Well... I want to understand I used to keep my live journal pretty regularly a long time ago hi mom okay we're done with mom hmm hi Knox oh my god what a cute meow she's a cute meow say very important things. Hmm. I mean, I doodled a lot. I had sketchbooks. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of sketchbooks. Oh, wait, that's an exaggeration. I have like two or three boxes of sketchbooks. <clears throat> but I keep my sketchbooks, so I have all the sketchbooks going back to fifth grade. And there were periods of my life that I wrote a l or drew a lot, so there's quite a few of them. And it's actually really cool as a... Oh, wait, this is a cemetery. Hello, fire-breathing Pope. Look at you, breathing the sun. I wonder if that's intentional. Hi, Bruce. How's it going?
That's really sweet, May. The piano there taking over is a really nice addition. Hmm. The animation on the leaves is so lovely. Like they're like gentle sway. I wonder if there are fewer leaves on the trees as the game goes by. I find the role of the church and religion in this game really interesting. Because a lot of things are just, um, like, honestly, just plain negative. Um, Especially things that are somewhat cynical about more like traditional conservative mindsets and things. This sounds different here. The music sounds more ominous. <gasps> That's why it's different. <sighs> I have more roof friends here. <laughs> busking. <laughs> oh, May! Yes, that's busking. <laughs> oh, my God. delighted by the addition of the violin and the way that it's the same sort of thing where it's an instrument adding. <gasps> Lori! Hi, Lori! <laughs> oh my god. I love May's enthusiasm as she like flings herself to the ground to sit down. We should make a movie. We should make a movie. No, we're gonna be positive. Hmm. 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 Oh, that's cool. Oh, she's so excited! I'm more interested in the thought process and the execution. Oh my god. Yeah, May's just like staring at her. That was too real. Lori, you're gonna be good. You're gonna do. You're gonna do well, Lori. Oh my God, Roof Cat! I want to go say hi to Roof Cat. I know I already said hi to Roof Cat. I don't even remember. I think it was like boing, boing, boing. Mm. So like boing, boing, boing. Ah, well, let us go visit our miracle babies. Well, I'm Roof Cat, but that's also Roof Cat, and we're Roof Cats differently. 
Yay! My mousies are still here. Hi, mousies. Look at you guys. You're all grown up. Hi, cutie mousies. At least I hope that you're snoozing and not dead. I'll be really sad if you guys are all dead. Mousies. 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 Okay, I'm gonna spare you guys the rest of my song about mousies. But rest assured, there's a lot of Lori, why are you the best? Hey, Saskor! Oh. Hmm. Bonk. Oh my god, Pigeon! <laughs> He's gonna say you are one lazy bird. I was like cats, like, moving a little bit. When you're, like, trying to get the cat to not be sitting on a thing. And so they move like a little. They like move like a little bit. Hey, Koneko! Uh, well. We found out about a lot of dead people. Oh, there's a violin. We went on a walk with mom, and she was pretty rad. Um. Hmm. Hello, lady. Oh, you went to the snack falcon. I can tell. I can see the branding on your bag. Look at that dude. He's so happy with his hat. His hat's just like levitating over his head. All right, let's go. Well, not all the dead people. I'm sure there's lots of dead people we don't know about yet, but we found out about a lot of dead miners and then more dead miners. Oh man, that violin. Okay, anyway. Sorry. Hey, fisherman! I did speak to the violin person. And he was like, I was like, are you busking? He was like, that depends, are you gonna pay me? And May was like, no. And he was like, then I'm not busking. Thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Okay, we're rhyming. <laughs> Oh, me. Me, you are only a good audience for certain kinds of people. I uh, see, I no longer have the option to do those crimes, huh? Industry! Mining! was totally not a super destructive force resulting in hundreds of people dying, including not even just the tunnels, although the tunnels collapsed due to negligence, but also apparently due to firing on strikers. So someone pointed out to me that these the smelters are like the stealers, which makes sense. But I don't know enough about sports ball, so I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, these guys are going to open up about their feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe not. Oh. Oh, dude! Come on, man! Oh, jeez, wow. Not even sports ball can solve this problem. I'm sorry, friends. Oh man, I wanted to jump onto this roof. Here we go. Okay, drugs. Don't do that, kids. Hello, cool person. 
You got like a pixelated bomb on your shirt? Are you a nerd? Hmm. <laughs> That sounds important and helpful. Oh, that's a this, this is like a great like this person knows this person knows communication. I can tell you the official thing, or I can just like put it into May language. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, Fuzzy. Ha. Yeah. Who? Oh. Okay. Rimo, I'm just also moving across the country. Um. So we'll see how well it works. Yeah, well, Decapeptal, given her, uh, what is proclivity, the word that I want, for smashy weapons, I can see where you might think that May would actually be armed with a mace. It is easy to kill birds. Birds are very fragile creatures, as I understand it. Hi, Germ. What? Hmm. Sure. Oh my gosh, Nox is sleeping on my foot. Oh my god, what a cutie. I don't want to ride on your bike. Tie it up. Oh, your bike is tied up. Okay. Hi, Nox. How are you a cutie kitty? Who's your cutie kitty? Meow, you baby. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ah. No, this is cool stuff. Wedding planning is hard. <laughs> no, it's like this social aspect of like, how do you put people at tables so they don't hate each other? What are we doing here? No, Germ, I don't. There. Hmm. T 
Tea, that's hard because if people don't know other people, they actually wind up uh, lonely and sad. But if you like know the people and you're like, these people don't know each other, but they'll get along well, you put them at a table together, they have a good time. So it's like hostessing. Like my mom and I really like to uh, host parties and there's a skill to it. If you're hosting a large party, you're not, if it's a large enough party, you're not just going to hang out with your friends. Like your role is to kind of facilitate other people having a good time so you like have to mill around and find people who are alone and introduce them to other people and kind of like smooth over conversations and stuff it's a thing so yeah oh hey it looks like I can go to the left oh is that an old mine tunnel hmm oh it's a sewer pipe It is not actually as easy as you might think, um, but I actually really enjoy it. Now, see, Tara Shant, like, when I got married, my parents were divorced. My ex's parents were divorced. They were both antagonistic divorces. Um, and there were other people who were estranged from each other there. So you had to be careful. <laughs> so... Yeah, well, my mom and I are both very extroverted people, so for us, it's really fun. You end up physically tired at the end, because you and, and, and mentally tired, too, not because of being around people, but because you're, like, constantly having to, like, problem solve about things. Oh, somebody told me that, like, rock climbing, like, climbing walls are, like, strategy and planning things. And where I'm going, like, the gym at the school has a climbing wall, so I'm like, maybe I'll work on those skills. So we'll see. Oh, I do like rats. Yeah, well, weddings are as much for the community as for the couple, so. Hmm. Well, so like, in some ways, it is the job of people like me and my mom who have these skills to make things easier for people who do not have those skills. So that, like, for example, you guys who think this sounds like hell don't have to deal with that. But if you come to a party, you know that we'll take care of you and make sure that there are some people you can hang out with and that there's places where you can go pet cats if you need to. Like, that's like a thing you have to plan. I don't know. Giant rat. Oh my god, the rat's name is Rabies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Apostrophe, no. Haha. <laughs> That's really cute. Parties are good if the person hosting the party is active and intentional about who is invited. Because we used to throw Halloween party and New Year's parties. And those were like the parties where we'd invite like, we'd have like 30 or 35 or even 40 people sometimes with my friends and her friends. But like, my friends, even the ones who were more introverted would come because they would know that they would find like the two or three people that they wanted to see and they could sit in a room on the side and pet a cat and talk. And then they could go eat some food and maybe I could introduce them to another person that they didn't know but could get along with in like a safe space. So it's fun. So, yeah. Wow, man. So I wasn't actually used to, like, I, I wasn't like the leader of a band when I got married. So I got really super, super anxious about keeping everybody happy. So I didn't even like process being the center of attention so much as I was, I like actually had a panic attack in the middle of my wedding because I thought that people weren't having a good time. So that's the downside of hostessing. Oh, yeah, actually, we have in attendance in chat somebody who has come to my mom and my um, Halloween parties back in college. Um, yes. <laughs> 
Yes, no, you could you could go play on my mom's harpsichord. Well, Goatmon, if you didn't have friends of mine that were your friends too, then yeah, that would probably be a challenge, but... Body? Flood? Oh no, more dead people. Hmm. Chips and ice cream. I guess you can feed a possum that. I thought it was a rat, but no, it's definitely a possum. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Oh. Well, Ryan, I would say, like, let me know next time you're in Texas, but I'm not going to be in Texas for much longer, so... Yeah, well, small friend groups playing board games is another, like, perfectly acceptable kind of party, so... Like, that's totally cool, too. I like having small friend group parties and great big parties. I actually miss throwing big parties. Ah, <sighs> so... Maybe at some point I will have a house that can handle big party and I will know enough people to do a big party again we'll see <laughs> oh my god germ that's really cute he oh my god he's trained it that's the coolest thing oh my god that's amazing oh my god that's amazing Oh, I do! We can bond over our vermin pets, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about the weird stuff on the walls. Oh, actually, I think we read about this. The body that drowned. I mean, Germ, please don't drown here. <laughs> oh, Germ. Oh my god, this is precious. <laughs> That's true. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's really precious. All right, so we fell down the ravine. I like that things are super out of order so you can't get a sense if you missed something or not. All right, well, I should probably shut down. I probably should. I feel like now it's a matter of visiting my friends and that's going to take some time. And it's 10 o'clock and I still have to try to submit a paper to maybe present at an academic conference next year. Maybe. Oh, and put away the last of the cake and clean my apartment and not go to bed at 1 in the morning. So... I should probably shut down. Uh, I'm gonna wander around some more. What am I planning for the next friend hangouts? I don't know. 
I should probably go to bed. I need to do things. Yeah, no, like, uh, I'm just, I'm going to be in Orlando this weekend. By the way, if any of you guys are in Florida, my band is playing in Orlando. We're playing a show at the Geek Easy. You should come. It should be fun. There's lots and lots of bands. Ah, thank you. Yeah, please remind me of stuff that I'm supposed to do. Ah, stretch, crickety, crackety. I, like, need to exercise, and I'm not, because I've just been, like, nonstop other things, so. Yeah. Yeah, Blues, I will soon be streaming from Eastern Time. That's true. Um, so that'll be an adventure. Oh, so no Thursday stream, because I'm going to be in San Antonio at World Fantasy Con. And then I'm going to be in Orlando, but I will be in time. I will be home for Creative Sprints next Monday. Um, and then we will be doing this next Tuesday. I think we have a couple of weeks before the move, the great, great, great cross-country extravaganza occurs. So we'll, we'll play some more of this game. Um, but yeah, happy Halloween, everybody. I hope that you guys all have excellent weeks. And that um, you take care of yourselves. Have good times. And yeah. Good night, friends. I'm enjoying having you guys here. Thank you for listening to and even encouraging my tangents. We'll beat this game eventually. <laughs> I'm just really slow. Good night. Bye.